Aspire means to look up a little higher than you are and wish you could get there. Look up higher than you are and wish that you could climb, wish that you could qualify, wish that you could deserve it, wish that you could get there. One of the best things you can do for your children is to help them to aspire, aspire to qualifications, aspire to dignity, aspire to self-esteem. Small disciplines can create high self-esteem. It doesn't take high disciplines to create a little self-esteem. Just a little discipline and self-esteem starts to soar. Let us teach it to each other. Let us begin with our children. Show them how to deserve attention. Show them how to deserve a party. Show them how to deserve what they want. It's easy to get what you want. All you got to do is deserve it. All you got to do is qualify for it. Start with easy steps. It's what we all had to do. Start with easy steps and you can qualify. Have you ever said to someone, this is it, this is it, and they can't see it. And you say, how come they can't see it? Here's a good note. Maybe they're not supposed to now. I don't know. I gave up on that. Trying to think it was my fault because they couldn't see. No. Life has its mysterious way of working things out. Sometimes at the moment, somebody doesn't deserve to see. So you can wish they could see all you want. You can try to make them see all you want. But if it's not time for them to see, they can't see. Now, maybe later they can see. But at the moment, who knows what all forces are working. So I would start going easy on myself, trying to say it's my fault because I can't straighten everybody out. I finally gave up on all that. Here's the great lesson in leadership. Don't send your ducks to Eagle School. <laughs> you can wish all you want. You can hope all you want. But come on. Duck leaves eagle school, goes for his first rabbit, makes him a friend. You say, no, no, kill all rabbits. And the other's true, too. It'd be futile to send eagles to duck school. Eagle goes to duck school. Teacher says, make friends of all rabbits. Eagle says, that doesn't sound right. How come I got this urge to kill? Here's the key. Let everybody do what they're supposed to do. You do the best. Be the best influence you can. Be the best teacher you can. Be the best model you can. Be the best encourager you possibly can. And then God and circumstances and whatever else has got to work the rest of it out. And I finally learned to let all that work out however it's supposed to work out and only take responsibility for doing the very best I can. I don't take responsibility for the rest anymore. I used to, but you can't sleep nights. Now I sleep like a baby. Key phrase, you cannot change people. Lord knows I've tried over the years. But add this note, but people can change themselves. The miracle of believing is internal. The miracle of believing is singular. It'd be easy for me to wish that I could believe for all of you in the full capacity and the full development of all of your capacity. And believe for all of you and it would get done. But each person has to believe for themselves. So we cannot go change someone. We can offer testimonial. We can offer advice. We can offer our experience. We can offer a bit of our own inspiration, our vision. We can offer our words, our language, do the best we can. But then, then, within the heart and life of each one, they have to decide whether or not they wish to change or not wish to change. It's what gives us dignity as human beings. The ability to choose for ourselves. That's called the dignity of human life. No other life has that dignity. A tree cannot change, right? A crocodile cannot change, but human beings can. Every other life form except human beings are driven by instinct and the genetic code. A goose can only fly which direction in the winter? South. A goose has to go south in the winter because he's driven. But humans can go north, south, east, west, live one way for five years, tear up that script, live another way for the next five years. Because in my personal opinion, we're a special creation, not just driven by instinct and the genetic code. For whatever that means, it's a bit beyond my comprehension, but I comprehend as much as I can, trying to study the obvious. So I've learned a few things.